Welcome to Rana Asif, the deep dive. Hey guys, so what if I told you that you can get any job in tech with just five projects? Now, before we jump in, let me ask you a question. What is the biggest pain point for software developers who are trying to find a job? And the answer is pretty obvious. It is the fact that they have to tailor their resume for each and every role. You know what I mean? Placement season is just around the corner and when it starts, you should definitely apply for every tech role and job opening that you come across. But here's the big problem. Each role has completely different skill requirements. Some companies need AI engineers, others want DevOps engineers, back-end engineers, front-end engineers, or full-stack developers with so many different requirements. How do you prepare for all of them? The answer, by building these five game-changing projects that we'll discuss today. Now these five projects are such that they will help you crack any job interview. Trust me on that one. But before we talk about them, allow me to introduce myself. I am Rana Asif, and on this channel, we break down complex tech topics into simple, actionable steps. So today, I am going to share five versatile projects that will make your resume stand out no matter which tech role you are retargeting. Plus, I'll give you demo links, tech stack guidance, and free resources to learn everything. Let's dive in. Let this start with an exciting project idea that has huge demand and that is a full-stack job portal like LinkedIn or NAUKRI.com. In India, this will help you practice authentication, authorization, API, crowd operations, database usage, dashboard creation, and much more. This project is called Job Connect. Now, why should you build this project? Because this covers a wide range of concepts from front end to back end and data. In other words, it shows that you can build an end to end application right from the front and design the experience for the end user to creating the back end logic and managing the data in the database. This project also has two types of users recruiters and job seekers. Recruiters can post new jobs and search existing ones while job seekers can search for open roles based on their preferred role, skills, and location. So now let us look at the technologies that we are going to use to build this amazing project. On the front end, we'll be using Reactors, one of the most popular JavaScript libraries for building user interfaces. On the back end, we'll be using Node.js with Express. Js to handle the server-side logic and API routes. For the database, we'll choose Mongod, which is a NoSQL database that will store our job listings and user data. Now before we move on, let me show you some bonuses that you can add to this project to make it even better. Number one, you can add real-time notifications when a recruiter views a profile or when a job seeker applies to a role. To do this, you can integrate SEO for real-time bidirectional communication between the server and the client. Number two, you can implement a search functionality using it. And finally, Number three, you can add a company page where recruiters can manage their profile and open roles. Now let's see the project structured and files needed to build this project. For this, we'll use a package called MongoDB Atlas to create a cluster that will host our database. And then we'll also need to install Node JS and NPM on our machine. Then create a folder for the project, open it in VS Code and then run NPM init express Y to initialize the project. Next, we allow use the command npm install express mongoose body passable crypt cores to install all the packages that we need to get started. Now we'll create a file called index.js which will be our main server file. In this file, we'll configure the server with express.js and connect it to the mongo. We'll also create routes for handling the API requests for different endpoints. Then we'll set up the environment variables for our application and finally start the server. Now we'll create another file called rootsindex.js. This file will contain all the API routes for our application. Here, we'll define routes for user authentication, job listings, and dashboard. Now, if you want to learn more about how to set up all of this, you can check out this full tutorial on building a job board that I did on my channel. The link to this video is provided below. All right, so that was project no. One, job, connect. Now let's move on to project no. Two, which is Resume Genius. This project will help you highlight your machine learning and data processing skills. 
this project is focused on building an ATS-like tool. So, the basic idea is that a recruiter uploads the resume in PDF format and the AI analyzes it and ranks it based on the job description, for example, if there are 50 applicants, the system should rank them based on the relevance of their skills and experience mentioned in the job description. This process is typically done by humans, but we can automate it using AI. Now why should you build this project? Because this project is based on natural language processing, NLP, which is a very important concept in machine learning. In addition, it teaches you sentiment analysis, keyword extraction, and ranking algorithms. So now, let's look at the technology stack that we are going to use for this project. Since we'll be doing machine learning, we'll use Python, and one of the popular libraries is TensorFlow or Keras. Then we can also use Node.js with Mongod for the backend. Now, let's look at the bonus that you can add to this project. You can integrate PDF parsing using Python's PDF mining library to extract text from the PDF file. Now, since this project is not built yet, I don't have the demo link for you. But you can check out this AI resume analyzer project which is similar to what we are discussing. Moving on to the third project, which is deep. Now, this project will help you to learn DevOps, workflow, Docker, containerization. This project is focused on building a tool that automates the deployment process. For example, if you push a new version of your web application to Git, you can trigger a deployment pipeline that deploys the application to AWS or DigitalOcean. Now, why should you build this project? Because this project will help you to learn DevOps, workflows, Docker containerization, and continuous integration and continuous delivery or CIC. So now let's look at the tech stack that we are going to use for this project. This project is a full stack application, so you'll need both front end and back end technologies. For the front end, we can use React.js, and for the back end, we can use Node.js and Python to write the automation scripts. Finally, we'll need Docker to containerize the application and its dependencies. Now, let's look at the bonus that you can add to this project. You can add deployment history logs with timestamps and the versions deployed. Now, since this project is not built yet, I don't have the demo link for you, but you can check out this auto deploy project, which is similar to what we are discussing. Moving on to the fourth project, which is Chatani. In addition to testing your backend architecture, this project will also help you practice working with WebSockets and security. This project is focused on building a chat application similar to what the app will support one-to-one -one chats, group chats, live status updates, and end-to-end -end encryption. Now, why should you build this project? Because this project will help you prove your backend architecture, real-time communication using WebSockets and security skills. It's great for backend or front-end roles. So now, let's look at the tech stack that we are going to use for this project. This project is a full stack application, so you'll need both front end and back end technologies. For the front end, we can use Reactor, Js, and for the back end, we can use Node.js with socket IO for real time communication. For the database, we can use MongoDB and Redis for catch. Now let's look at the bonus that you can add to this project. You can add message reactions like in what now, since this project is not built yet, I don't have the demo link for you, but you can check out this Chatta project which is similar to what we are discussing. Finally, we have reached the last project, which is, this project will help you learn penetration testing and OSEB Zap. This project is focused on building a tool that scans websites for vulnerabilities like SQL. Now why should you build this project? Because this project will teach you penetration testing concepts and tools like O, which is an open source web application security scanner. So now let's look at the tech stack that we are going to use for this project. This project is a full stack application, so you'll need both front end and back end technologies. For the front end, we can use React.js, and for the back end, we can use Node.js with Python to write the scanning logic. We'll also use OWASP Zap to integrate the vulnerability scanning tool. Now, let's look at the bonus that you can add to this project. You can generate a PDF report of the vulnerabilities found. Now, since this project is not built yet, I don't have the demo link for you, but you can check out this vulnerability scanner project which is similar to what we are discussing. All right, so now that we know about all the five projects, let's look at some free learning resources for React and Node, JS, 
you can check out Recordicam's full stack web development certification. For Python, you can check out Python for Beginners. By for MongoDB, you can check out MongoDB University, which offers free courses. For Docker, you can check out Docker's official Docker tutorial. And finally, for Odavaz Bazap, you can check out the official documentation. All right, so now that you know everything about these five projects, it's time to take action. Pick two to three projects, build them and you'll see how your resume will shine. Don't forget to check the reference projects in the description. Finally, hit the like button if this video helped you. Subscribe for more awesome tech videos and comment which project you're going to build first. Keep coding.